Passion is a powerful thing. Passion is a powerful thing. The more passion that a person has, generally, the more that's going to be produced. When you find someone who has a passion for what their purpose is, you're going to find someone striving, someone working hard, someone who is, is literally turning the world upside down. As a matter of fact, in Acts 17, we see a story. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures, opening and alleging that Christ must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead, and that this Jesus whom I preach unto you is Christ. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas, and of the devout Greeks and a great multitude, and of the chief women not a few, but the Jews which believed not. Here you go, you have some Jews now, you got some people who are moving with envy. They're angry, they're upset. They took unto themselves certain lewd fellows of the baser sort and gathered a company and, and set all the city on an uproar and assaulted the house of Jason and sought to bring them out to the people. And when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying. Now, this is what they're saying. They, they bring out these believers. And here's the testimony of Paul's passion. These that have turned the world upside down are come hitherto. Now that's amazing. Why is it that Paul did what he did? He had a goal, he had a purpose in his life, and he had some guts behind it to get out and get the job done. He had a passion. Now a person can have a purpose and essentially have no passion and get nothing done. But the passion is the motor that propels it. That's what gets it done. It's a desire.